What's up guys, it's your boy YBK here, back with another video, and today I'll be showing you guys how to use your PlayStation 3 controller to play games on your PC. Alright, so first you're going to plug in your controller. Alright, and just let the driver install here. Let me just pull this up. As you can see, it's a PlayStation 3 controller. And it's searching Windows Update. So just let it continue the search. And as soon as it's finished and it finds the, um, the driver, it will install it automatically. Alright, so now that that's finished with the installation, you just close this out. Alright, so we're going to go to the control panel now. And just show you that the, um, the controller is picking up in that part of the system. So you can see that everything here is indeed legitimate and is actually working. Alright, so there you have it, the PlayStation 3 controller. So just go to properties and ensure that your properties are showing similar to mine. This part might be a bit different, but no worries, it will still work. All right. So now we're going to get some programs from the browser. And select this one here. And I will be leaving all the links in the description, guys. So you can get these programs without any hassle. Alright, so you're going to wait here for 5 seconds until the yellow skip add button shows up. Alright, and then skip add. And it will be redirecting you to the other page which is on Mediafire. Alright, so now you can just select download. And start download. Okay, so you can just open this one here. And then you'll extract it. Alright, so I already have this extracted guys. So I'm not going to extract it once more. So I'm just going to cancel this right here. And close this out okay so now we're gonna go ahead and get the other program here and it's the same process for this one also you just wait five seconds until the yellow um, skip add button shows up and then you select on skip add Alright, so now you're on the um, the X360 page. So for a 64-bit system, you download the 64-bit one. And for a 32-bit system, you download the one for 32-bit, which is the system I have. So that's the one I'm downloading. Alright, so when this one is finished, you go ahead and open. Then you extract. and close this all right so now it's time for us to install the um the next driver which will be the one to make the ps3 controller work all right so go to compressed and go to scp ds driver okay open this one then go to bin and you want to select on the one that says scp driver it will ask to run as administrator and you select yes. Now ensure that you click on the one that says force install and ensure that all the boxes are ticked and select it.
Alfred so as soon as that has finished installing it will automatically start the Xbox 360 controller driver so this is basically where it's going to trick your system into thinking that your controller is an Xbox 360 controller alright and just let that search okay it's downloaded and installing now and it's going to install mm -hmm. another one right after there it goes so it's going to search for this also and for a part of the, this video guys I missed out the part where I go to the control panel after this part so I just added a screenshot where I'm showing you in the control panel that it's showing an Xbox 360 controller beside the PS3 controller also right here all right so now you just exit this and go to the X360 the one that you extracted earlier on just gonna add it to the desktop here make it um, easier to access all right so you're gonna open this and you're gonna copy this file here this program and right click on the game that you want to have the control set up for and select open file location so now you're gonna paste it here let me just delete the old one all right so now you're gonna paste it here and right click then select run as administrator and when it asks you select yes all right so you select create right here then it will ask you to search on the browser on the internet so search automatically for settings alright so right here is where you set up your controls you can um, set these to anything you want but actually it's supposed to be set to the exact buttons that corresponds with the um, the name there and it will also show you when you're editing your controls which button you should press to actually put it in the location where you're um, recording the button Alright, so I'm not going to change the other buttons at the top, like for A, B, X, and Y, because those already have the default controls set. So I'm just going to set up the D-pad here, and then I'm going to go ahead and save it. Alright, as you can see, these are the original buttons. And save. All right now you can close this out and you will see an x input underscore dll file so you can now run the game and as you can see i'm just skipping out all of these parts here
find time to let those rats escape. Find time? There's no need for that. You're going to die here anyway. You know that. Right. <laughs> I'll end this now! <laughs> 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 <laughs>